Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to the last episode of the Parallel Investigator uh, The Dream Eaters campaign series. And we are at the final scenario of the Dreaming side uh, 4A where gods dwell and we are playing uh, Parallel Skids. And uh, uh, last scenario with Skids we got 6 experience to upgrade our deck so let's Quickly hop back over to the ArkhamCDB.com and see what upgrades I did to the deck. Okay, and this is the final deck for Skids. Uh, the only change into the deck I made is I added two copies of Lucky Level 3 to the deck. And remembering Skids' deck building um, extra rules, you can add uh, cards that have a fortune or gambit traits and you don't have to remove the lower version cards from the deck so we have four luckies now also we have four money toxes now and uh, that's a lot of good events for skits uh, money build but that is the only change i made to the deck so we won't linger here for much longer of course if you want to dive into the deck uh, i'll put the link in the video description as usual but let's hop back over to the scenario okay and we are at the final scenario so uh, in true solo this scenario is quite difficult uh, because we have to find uh, the correct cards at the second act of this uh, scenario or, or at the later scenario uh, act of this scenario when we get to the onyx castle uh, we have to find Nuarlathoteps and uh, we can't talk about them, but because I'm playing by myself, I won't heed that rule. So we are set up, we start at the Plateau of Leng and go from there. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, uh, we are ready to start, so I'll draw my opening hand. One, two, three, four, five. What do we get? We get the lock picks, uh, lucky level three, unexpected courage, twenty-one or bust, and Randolph Carter, expert dreamer. Well, uh, Randolph will screw us over, so I'm chucking that guy out the window. I'm not keen on keeping the twenty-one or bust. Lock picks, maybe. Lucky is okay. I'll. Chuck the unexpected courage and draw three cards. And we shuffle that also. So we get the normal lucky. Hit me and lucky cigarette case. Well, not the best, but I'll play the lucky cigarette case lockpicks and investigate. So hopefully I am able to start drawing cards, which will help me. So I'm looking, of course, for the black fan. And as it is an exceptional card, it's really strong, but there's only one copy in the deck, so we might not see it this game. We have been lucky in the previous two games to get it into play, and uh, also that we have uh, had enough resources to really power it up. But we'll see how this uh, game goes, so we'll just shuffle the mulligan deck, and uh, that is everything. Uh, so we can start playing... Uh, first thing first, I will start generating resources. So I'm testing 3 versus 3, and we have the lucky level uh, 3 in hand, so this is a no-brainer. Uh, we can just play that to get, draw a card and succeed if we need to. So uh, 3 versus 3 to get, generate 3 resources. Minus 4, that drops us to... Uh, that's actually not good enough because uh, with this we get plus three. We are still down by one, but we can play the other lucky. So we succeed. Well, we are spending all of our luckies. We draw a card, a uh, hyperphysical shotcaster, but we generate... Uh, well, we only got two resources. Uh, basically from this, so I'll just add a fiver, uh, not that token, but this uh, five dollar note. Okay, well, um, 
That was a free action. So first action we'll play luck picks level three. Put three. Uh, I mean luck picks uh, level one. So that costs three, and I'll as a second action immediately play the lucky cigarette case. So. Yeah, we really <laughs> did not do that well. I'm, I have to check my math here. So we paid uh, for five resources. We paid one. We got only two. So yeah, we paid the lucky. So we only netted one resource. But last action, I will uh, investigate using the lockpicks. So we are investigating seven versus three. Minus three, so we succeed by one or more, but uh, we break one lockpick. So well, that's okay. We get this clue and we draw a card with the lucky cigarette case, and that it's 21 or bust. And uh, that is our first turn, so no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw Lone Wolf, we gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add one Doom, one of seven. Encounter card for this round is Law of Ugarot. So uh, we add this to our hand. You cannot play cards or trigger abilities on player cards with an odd printed resource cost. So we can't use uh, lockpicks. But we can use the lucky cigarette case. I think we'll just uh, get rid of this as first action. So discard a player card with an even printed resource cost. I will discard 21 or bust. To get rid of this. Second action, we'll move to the gold wastes. Uh, two shroud, one clue and... Uh, last action, we will investigate here. The lot picks again. Actually, I will wait for that. So I'll uh, first. I will make some resources. So I'm. Uh, do I want to guarantee this success? So I'm committing. Hits me to the test. So we are testing four versus uh, two. Zero. We get two resources, and then. Uh, as a last action, I'll spend one resource to play the uh, Lone Wolf. Just so we uh, start to accumulate more resources. And uh, we will exhaust Lucky Secret Case because we succeeded in a test. We get another hit me. And that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We ready lock. Uh, Lucky Secret Case, we draw a card. Another hyper physical shotcaster. I haven't actually played those at all in this campaign, so I think adding those was a mistake. <laughs> but it is what it is. And we gain a resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Encounter card for this round is Restless Journey Hardship. Uh, Peril Hidden, we added this to our hand. Uh, a fast action discard. Radiant, let's journey and test combat 3. If you fail, place one doom on the current agenda. This uh, effect can cause the current agenda to advance. So it doesn't do anything yet, but later on might be uh, troublesome. But we uh, maybe won't mind that for now. So at the start of our turn, we generate a resource. I will Again, accumulate resources with Skitz's ability, committing this, so over to another zero. Uh, we'll use the lucky secret case. We get 21 or bust. Well, we are getting all the card playing, or, or the poker or blackjack cards at the start, but not using them, just committing them. So we have. Plenty of resources now. I'm actually changing these to a fiver. Then, uh, first action. We will investigate using lock picks. Uh, we are seven versus two. 
minus three. Now we won't break a lock pick, but we'll get this clue and we will advance immediately. So the monastery, uh, reveal the monastery of Leng, spawn the set aside high priest not to be descri described the enemy in the monastery of Leng. So we reveal the monastery. Two clues there. The high priest of Leng uh, spawns over there. We'll mark it. Let's use these yellow ones. So then we advance. So uh, the thing in the robes. So action if an investigator maneuver the priest closer and an investigator stunt the priest, defeat the high priest, not to be described. So if the high priest is defeated, uh, we advance. So let's see. The high priest is a BP1 uh, 5 combat, 3 health. And three evade monster cultist avatar elite alert massive retaliate. This enemy cannot make attacks of opportunity, so it's safe to just uh, move their next round. Maybe so. Fast action if this enemy is exhausted, spend one clues. Remember that you stun the priest until the end of the scenario. This enemy gets minus three fight, and the monastery has. Fast action, investigators to monastery of Lengen, spend one clue to the group, remember that the investigators maneuver at the priest closer. Okay. So, how do we want to do this? Mm, we need those clues, and... Uh, We... Hmm. we don't have a good way to in investigate yet before next round, so uh, let's see. can take one round of damage from that guy, so let's do it. We'll move in and we will investigate and I'll commit both of these to the test. I'm not playing it. So investigating uh, 5 versus 3. So minus 1, we get 1 clue. And... Uh, We immediately use that to remember that we have uh, um, uh, maneuvered the priest closer, so we have done that. Okay, and we get one damage and one horror when this guy hits. I will go to upkeep. We get Randolph Carter. Well, of course, and we gain our source. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Three of seven. Encounter card is Whispers of Hypnos, and uh, we will choose Willpower. So Willpower is lowered by two, but we won't need that. Uh, first action we will investigate with lockpicks. We are seven versus three. Uh, zero. We succeed. We'll exhaust the lucky cigarette case to draw a card. Another lone wolf. We get this clue. We'll do the fast trigger ability. Oh, uh, do we need to exhaust this guy first? Okay, so we'll evade first. Oh yeah, uh, we got one resource from the Lone Wolf, which I forgot. So we are evading, and I'm committing Randall Carter to the test. So we are evading uh, 6 versus 3. And uh, I'll go 
7 versus 3 because we have uh, plenty of minus 4s in the bag. 7 versus 3. Skull is X is the number of uh, the current act, so it's minus 2. So we succeed in evading it. Then we spend the clue. And last action, we will do the action to defeat it. Because now we had both uh, stun the priest and maneuver the priest closer. So this is defeat that we advance. A foul fate. If you. Uh, we use the act 2 ability. So uh, fluff text. And we we'll just continue onward. Beyond Dreams. Objective, if each investigator is at the Onyx Gates and no clues are on it, advance. So, next we will start heading towards the Onyx Gates. So, uh, that was our turn. This goes uh, away at the end of the round. No enemies. We go to upkeep. We draw unexpected courage and we gain a resource. I forgot to do Skitch's ability this round, but it is what it is. Uh, that is that round. We ready these. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. 4 of 7. Encounter card is uh, Restless Journeys Lies. So we discard Restless Journeys and test uh, Agility 3. If you fail, we place one Doom. Okay, well, those clog up our hand, but we'll, we can get rid of them as fast actions. So, uh, First two actions will move to Cold Waste and the Onyx Gate. So, Onyx Gate has one Shroud, 12 clues. Onyx Gate gets plus one Shroud per investigator, so Shroud of two. Post after the Onyx Gate is revealed, check campaign log, remove one clue from the Onyx Gates for each tally mark recorded next to the evidence of the path. And we had 10, so we only place two clues here. And uh, last action, we will investigate with the lockpicks. 7 versus 2. Minus 3. So we still succeed. We won't even break a lockpick. Uh, we'll get one clue. We get to exhaust the lucky secret case and draw money talks. And that is our turn, no enemies, and again we forgot Lone Wolf, so I'll add one now. Uh, we'll draw a card, we gain a resource. I'll chase this five into a fiver, so we have 12 resources. And that is that round, we ready these. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. 5 of 7 and encounter card is abandoned by the gods. Peril test willpower 3. For each point you fail by, you must choose a different number between 0 and 4. Each player must discard each event and asset from their hand with the printed resource cost uh, equal to any of the chosen numbers. So I'm testing uh, willpower 2, but I'll play money talks here. So. I will play Money Talks. I will... Actually, we can just pick uh, four. Uh, we can pick one, three, four. And we can only fail by three. So we won't even commit anything to this test. So we are testing... Uh, two versus three. Minus two. So we fail by three. So we pick uh, number one number three and number four so we don't uh, want to discard anything so that's that we gain a resource at the start of our turn and uh, we'll just investigate using the lock picks seven versus two uh, zero we succeed we will exhaust lucky cigarette case we draw a card the black fan Great. And we advance this. 
So we get the where the gods dwell, each investigator loses all of their clues, uh, read, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, so we get the where the gods dwell. So we uh, read the scenario interlude and then advance for a truth and lies. So, we will just uh, skim through the interlude quickly and uh, see what happens. So, we read uh, plot text. So, we reveal the Onyx Castle and place each investigator in the Great Hall on its uh, revealed side. Then, remove each, other, uh, each location other than the Great Hall from the game. Then, check camper log if Randall survived the voyage, uh, we go to Grand Design 2, so in there, uh, if an investigator's deck from their Randall card, uh, we remove it from the deck, and we uh, check camper log, we go to Grand Design 5, so we randomly choose 1 plus 1 copies of the set aside new lot to the enemy without looking at them and shuffle them into the encounter deck. Remove each other copy from the game. Uh, then we shuffle the set aside crawling mist and each set aside copy of myriad forms and whispering case into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard file. Then we shuffle the set aside for second tower location and choose 4 at random and put into play. And. Uh, not until the end of the scenario, each for second tower is referred to by its position, so north, south, east, west, east, west. And that's it. So I think I'll do uh, all of that in... Well, I, I can't, I have too many actions, so I, I was thinking of playing the black fan just... So, first let's do the new lot of the thing. So we have five copies here, we shuffle... And we pick this one, and this one is our remote from the game. Then we get these two, these four, this crawling mist. And we shuffle those, and the discard pile to the encounter deck. Then we shuffle these. Move this into the center here. And remove these two from the game. And uh, these are all connected to the Great Hall. Then we shuffle this and then we get to read what we need to do in the next act. So, objective. Uh, well, we have an action. Spend one clue, look at the top three cards of the encounter deck. Draw each of those cards with the hidden keyword and discard the rest. Oh yeah, and we lost all our clues. Objective, find and expose Nualatotep through form by adding copies of Nualatotep to the victory display. If one plus one, so two copies are in the victory display, we advance. So, uh, we give this a good shuffle, and uh, I think we are playing the black fan this round, but first we will uh, generate some resources. So, we'll generate three resources, testing three versus three, and I'll commit the unexpected courage, so we are five versus three for this test. I'll go 6 versus 3. Good thing, minus 3, we get 3 more resources, so i add... Like so... Well, no. I'm spending 3 in a moment, so... Uh, 
Okay, these are gone. Then, uh, second action of the turn, we'll play the Black Fan. And we have uh, plus one health and plus one sanity at the moment. But last action, we will get an extra action by playing the Faustian Bargain. So we gain five resources, put uh, two curse tokens into the bag. And uh, Black Fan is uh, almost fully loaded. And uh, next round we will just get rid of these because that doesn't advance the agenda. But uh, we will... We will um, last action move over here. We need clues. So we have a two shroud, one clue. You can use this location's ability unless another card explicitly allows you. You have the other option to evade. Uh, but yeah, we'll read those once we get that far. But that is our turn. No enemies will pop up. If we draw Thief's Kit, we gain a resource and ready this. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. So, six of. Seven encounter card is whispers of hypnos. We'll choose willpower. We are not using it at the moment. At the start of our round, uh, we add one resource to our pool. So now the black fan also gives us plus one to each of our stats, as we have twenty resources. So okay, uh, we'll do. Fast abilities, so we discard this test uh, four versus three. Uh, it is a minus, we are at, at four, so we add one doom to the agenda. It doesn't matter. We will do this one, and we are five versus three for the agility. Again, a skull, we add one doom to the agenda. It doesn't matter, that's a good point to use those. So, our first actual ability is to investigate using lockpicks. No, um, we'll just investigate uh, four versus... Four versus two. I'm actually committing the thieves' kit. Five versus two. Minus one, we succeed, we'll use the lucky secret case to draw another money talks, level two actually. We'll get this clue, we'll move, move, uh, we'll go here, two shroud, one clue, last action, we will use the lockpicks to investigate. I am investigating... Uh, five... Six, seven. Uh, we are nine against two. Minus four. If you fail, choose to reveal a copy of the bad guy in your hand. If it uh, it attacks you and it shuffles into the encounter deck, we don't fail and we don't have that guy in our hand. So we get this clue. That was our turn. Uh, no enemies will go to upkeep. We ready this. We draw a card. Lola, great, we gain a resource, and uh, this goes away, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, so this advances. Okay. The Mire of Dreams, so if it's Act 4, read the following place clues on each Forsaken Tower location until the, uh, it has clues equal to its clue value. Reveal each copy of uh, the bad guy in each investigator's hand, each investigator who did not reveal a copy of Nala no, thought that must either take one damage or one horror to take a damage. 
Uh, and we don't have, so we just ignore these to, to continue onward. Uh, the shape of chaos, shroud of uh, uh, doom, threshold of five. Then uh, we also draw a card. Deep slumber. Your maximum hand size is reduced by three and is checked after each time you draw cards. So uh, first we get the resource from Lone Wolf. We will actually just spend one. So we do the skits ability. And uh, test uh, one versus uh, three versus one, and uh, do I want to make this? Yeah, so we are ten versus. Uh, let's back up. So we'll we'll commit three. So I'm not uh, changing those. So basically, we commit three. We had to break that, so we will net up to. We have 12 to 15, yeah. So 10 versus whatever. Minus 4, we succeed. So we are at 15. But I am uh, next action playing Lola Santiago. I'll do a double action to get rid of this. And the last action I will investigate. And I didn't use this for the last test because I didn't want to check my hand size. So we are using the uh, lock picks and uh, we are now with Lola's uh, uh, help. Uh, 5, 6, uh, 11 versus 2 with the lock picks. A minus 4 and we succeed. We get this clue, and now we'll trigger the lock picks. And we get the lucky level 3, great. And uh, next round we will start fishing for the bad guy and some key cards we need. But that is that round, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card, uh, hospital depths, we won't care about that because we are not continuing the campaign after this, so we cannot get to experience, etc. And we gain a resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, one of five encounter cards for this round is uh, Crawling Mist. Uh, it spawns at our location and is massive, so we have to evade that. So we would get minus one to evade this guy if we had any concealed cards in our or those uh, hidden threat trays in our hand. But if we don't, so first action we will evade, and I'm evading uh, four. Oh yeah, we get a resource from Lone, uh, lone Wolf. Uh, we. Uh, we will evade four. Five, six versus three. Minus four, but we'll play this to not fail. So we draw a card, another lucky level one. And this is evaded. And I'll mark it. This. So we will leave this location. Then we will do, uh, we'll spend one clue. Uh, draw the top three cards. And how did it say? Uh, spend one clue, look at the top three cards of the encounter track. Draw each of those cards with the hidden keyword and discard the rest. And uh, this uh, doesn't have hidden. These have so you cannot commit cards to skill test with an odd number of total skill icons. Okay, and uh, we'll just try to get rid of this one. We are testing four versus three. 
zero. We don't add a, a doom. Last action, we'll spend another clue to fish for the bad guys card. And we discard these two, and we get the law of Ygrat Chaos. So you cannot play cards or trigger abilities on player cards with an odd printed resource cost that we need to get rid of somehow. That is our turn. No enemy actions. This ready is in the upkeep. We draw a card, well connected, we gain a resource. There are 15 resources. And I mean 25 resources. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. 2 of 5 encounter card is one of these guys. So this comes into our hand. So. Uh, we will need to find a way to defeat that guy. First action. We will spend a clue to find three cards. And not hidden, not hidden, not hidden. So these are discarded. Well, at least we missed the dole of the wastes. Second action. We will move over here. Okay, and we will investigate our stink. We cannot use this location. Okay, investigate, choose and reveal a copy of that bad guy. For this investigated in this location, shroud is equal to health. If you succeed, add that. Yeah, okay, so it's a shroud of five basically for the clue getting so we spent five oh no we have to get rid of this card so I can use Lola so I'll discard well connected no I'll discard money talks level two to get rid of this Uh, we'll just get a uh, fast clue with Lola, spending five resources. And last action, we'll spend that clue to search three cards. We get the other bad guy, but we still need to find the ways to defeat that bad guy. But this has a lower health, so we probably want to defeat that guy here. And. Uh, enemy face this guy hunts over here. Upkeep. Oh yeah, we forgot to draw with the lucky cigarette case, so I'll do that now. No, I, uh, we didn't test, we used Lola. So we'll draw on the lamb. That's actually a good one. And we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, 3 of 5. Encounter card is... Uh, Another hidden card. You cannot play cards or commit cards to skill test with an odd number of words in the title. This card a player card with an even number of words in the title. In its from your hand, discard this card. Well, one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. That is annoying. Okay. So we'll play on the lamb. So this well No, we want to evade that guy so it doesn't follow us. Can we play odd number cards? These are so confusing. Can I play cards with an odd number of words into the on the lamb, odd number, damn, we have to get rid of that one, you cannot conquer us, this doesn't affect us, so... First action, we will discard well connected to get rid of... This one. We will move over here. Then, uh, oh yeah, we get uh, one resource from 
lone wolf. Then we'll play, um, we'll commit on the lamb for an evasion. We are evading. Uh, we have uh, three encounter card packs, so this is six. So we are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus six. So minus three or better. It is a minus three. So we just barely evade this guy. Last action will move here and we do a fast action with Lola to grab this clue. And that is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw unexpected courage, this readies. And actually we could have used the uh, lucky secret case, but it is what it is. And uh, yeah, that is that round. Let's go to the yeah, we gain a resource, so that is that round. We go to the next round. We add another Doom 4 of 5 encounter card is mysterious chanting. We will search for a cultist enemy. So this I'm just checking, yeah. Well good thing we are going to shuffle everything. And we are advancing next round, so this guy doesn't matter. Shuffling, shuffling, hopefully those cards we need will land on the top. But it is basically, this is so uh, based on luck. If you get those um, cards you need right away, it's really easy. But like it's going now, not that easy. So we'll... Uh, place this. Uh, I think we are not going there, at least. Hopefully, we don't have to go there. So, place this guy over there. Okay. First action, we will search for the hidden cards again. Spending one clue. And we get two, so we don't need any more. This goes away. Now, let's see. This is uh, south and east. So, we can do the south one. First, let's see what the action is. So choose and reveal a copy of the bad guy from your hand and attempt to evade it as if it were at your location using intellect instead of agility. If you succeed, add that copy of Nala to the, to the victory display. If you fail, that guy attacks. Well, lucky we have. Where is our money talks? Oh yeah, we used that. So I'm, uh, I'm doing that action for my second action. Now we need to decide. So we want to evade uh, the guy who is easier to evade. So we'll do it at, against this one. And uh, we have a lucky, so that's okay. Oh yeah, we get one from Lone Wolf this round also. Okay, so we have this in hand, we have a lucky in hand. We commit unexpected courage to this test. We are... F uh, Five, six, seven versus. Let's go risk it because we have the lucky. Let's try to evade this harder one. Oh, that doesn't have odd, so we are good. So it has two icons, so we are can commit it. So we are seven versus five. 
and we have a lucky in hand so what's our on our favor i think minus three we have to play the lucky let's see it we didn't have anything that uh, prevents us from so this guy's uh, defeat that goes into victory display So if the ability of the Sun Tower resolves successfully discard this card. Okay. One down, one to go. And uh, I think what do we need to do here? Oh yeah, uh, now we will definitely get the card. Lola Santiago. Well, helpful. Discard, so fight. And we are fighting with uh, willpower instead of. Oh, hard. And this is four fights, so we probably want to find another hidden card. So, uh, we'll move over here. And we will try to evade. And uh, we are uh, evading uh, four, five, six versus. Okay, well, we might get this guy on us, but luckily it doesn't have uh, alerts. Okay, so six versus six. Zero. Nice. Um, this is evaded. That is our turn, no enemy actions will go to upkeep, we get uh, offer you cannot refuse. We will lose 5 resources, so unfortunately our stats reduce. Not, we can't help that. But we gain a resource, so we can bounce back in resources, hopefully next, uh, next round. And uh, that is that round, let's go to the... Uh, next round of the week, ready to start. So let's go to the next round. We add a Doom so the agenda advances. Okay. Uh, okay, so we place clues. Reveal needs copy, needs. Investigator's hand of the bad guy. Uh, so we'll choose that this guy attacks us three times, so we take three damage. Take one here and two here. And it is returned into our hand. Then we have a doom threshold of five, so we're running out of time. Encounter card is a uh, liar with no face, so engages us. So we gain a resource from Lone Wolf. Uh, we will use two resources to test uh, this. So we are testing uh, two versus three versus two. So we really need to succeed so that we get the black fan. Uh, online again. So three versus two. Elder sign. Uh, that changes everything. We succeed. First off. Uh, so confused now. Yeah, so we get the resources. So we are back to 20. But the most more important thing is that we get to uh, grab a level 2 or less card from our discard. And I am picking the lucky, uh, the money talks level 2. So now we have this guy engaged, this guy engaged, and uh, now we get to finish the scenario this round. So. 
we could evade, evade, and move and do the test. Or, let's see, can we tank the damage? So, one damage, one horror, two horror. And we do the fight action so we don't provoke attacks of opportunity. Let's do it. Move, we take uh, one damage and three horror. We'll actually put one damage here. Okay, we reveal the east. Do the fight action against this uh, fight of four. We are fighting with our willpower, which is three. But we will play Money Talks level two. So now, uh, instead of the type indicated for this test, uh, this is a resource test performing investigator space skill value for this test is equal to half the number of resources we are testing. 10 versus 4. Let's go. Chaos bag. <laughs> Call this. We will another token. If you fail, place one boom. Let's go. Chaos bag. Minus 4. If you fail, we don't fail. So this new lot of tap is in the victory display. This is discarded. We get to advance. The true shape. Check campaign log. If the black hat knows the truth and the investigator possesses the silver key, well, unfortunately, we weren't able to get the silver key, so. Uh, resolution 1. Well, at least we uh, record in our campaign log. Uh, the dreamers escape from Nuarlathotep's grasp. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. And it is uh, minus two experience, so I think three, but who cares? Each investigator suffers two mental trauma from the battle between truth and fiction within their own dreams. The investigators must decide, choose one. Uh, wake up, uh, skip to resolution 3, remain on the surface, or venture into the underworld to find your companions. Uh, we don't know of another path, so we have to wake up. So, we get resolution 3. In your camp log record, the dreamers awoke. If uh, we are playing, so we go to epilogue at, at the end of the Weaver of the Cosmos scenario. Mm. Epilogue. So we, uh, first off, we have this epilogue here. If you See, so we compare which uh, resolutions we got. So the dreamers awoke, and uh, the investigators return to reality. So resolution six. Uh, the two groups were united in the waking world. The investigators win the campaign. So great job, Roland and Skits. We managed to. Uh, win the campaign and uh, well the special ending alludes me still so if we would have had the silver key passed on to us we could have uh, continued here and fight the Nualatotep as a mega boss and got the resolution 2 or whatever but not so but still we got a campaign win for both sides, and I am happy with that. So, uh, I, I really like also playing this deck, so the Roland deck was amazing to play. Uh, this uh, skips deck, uh, big money skips with the black fan and uh, uh, parallel rules was really fun to play, so I probably will play skips more often now that I have played 
uh, this campaign with him. Uh, so, yeah, that was the uh, Dream Eaters campaign with uh, uh, and the Dreaming side with skits or parallel skits. So, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time. <laughs>